Katie joins me now in the studio, along with TV critic Kevin O'Sullivan. Good evening to you both. Kevin first, has it had its day or is there still mileage in it yet? Oh, there's mileage in it. This will be, you know, gen generally speaking, a very successful series, one of the big sort of titans of the television calendar. Uh, but, you know, it, what will it be? It will be 20 people that have been kind of coerced into making ludicrous boasts about each other. Alan Sugar will say, these are the ty tycoons of tomorrow, <laughs> they're really impressive, and the rest of us will enjoy a great big comedy show, an absolute comedy of errors and a joke. So the problem with it is that the rule of comedy is if you keep telling the same joke, it gets less and less funny. So that, I think, is The Apprentice's predicament. OK, so I'll put, you to, put that to you in a second, but let's just have a look at Kevin's favourite comedy bit from all <laughs> sure. the series of The Apprentice. I want to see this silly impression of a dinosaur you do. <laughs> of a reverse pterodactyl. Got to see it. Come do you on. want to see it right now? Absolutely. <laughs> Unbelievable. OK. Ah! 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 It's impressive. I don't think Sir Alan would be too impressed. I didn't, I didn't find it funny, but he definitely wouldn't. Impressed Sir Alan in the end, though, because he ended up winning, uh, didn't he, uh, Katie? Um, what do you think watching that kind of nonsense back? Is that what really <laughs> you're expected to do when you're in there? I think you have to not have a game plan when you go in there. I think it's really important to be quiet for the first couple of weeks and just get the lay of you the land, which is what hard. I did. You yeah, I know. I buttoned it for two She was. Weeks. I remember. She was quiet. I was the silent for... one. And then not quiet. And then yeah. <laughs> I let rip. And uh, I think that was the thing, is that when I went on there and I just told it very straight off camera. I was talking about people, what I really thought about them. And I thought everybody else was doing the same. But it <laughs> turns out I was the only one. We've got a bit of you when you're in there and you look quite different. Here you are. <laughs> I think it's more important that I have the courtesy to get my plans in place first. And therefore, I suggest I stand down. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, Nick. You. Thank you, Margaret. Didn't see that coming. I know. They? No, nor did I on that day either, really. Seeing that, though, it begs the question these days, do you think Sir Alan should stand down? Would you fire Alan Sugar? Lord Shugs. Yeah. Yeah, I think Lord Shugs has probably had his day. I mean, he's a lovely chap. And, you know, he's clearly as hungry for fame as the accusations he's piled on at me and Louisa Zisman today, saying that we're just in it for the fame. Well, you know what? You know, that's the game slightly now. Yeah, he, he did, plays it well. He did say that you would go to the opening of an envelope if you got an invitation. <laughs> you have your Andy Warhol moment, i.e. 15 <laughs> minutes of fame, thinking it's going to make you famous, but... Very few have actually succeeded. I think it's fair to say that you have succeeded. Did you go on TV, because it's a reality show like Big Brother, like any other, did you go on to seek fame? Well, it used to sit under kind of business. That was where it used to sit. I know now it's moved more to reality. Um, but certainly when I went on, I thought I'd come out somewhere near the middle, mm -hmm. looking like the fairly intelligent girl that did OK. But obviously it didn't go that way and it exploded. And, you know, it was all very exciting. But I think like to think that Louisa and myself, we've gone on to capitalise okay. on what we can make the most of. And I think that's a really, uh, you know, I think that's a fun way to embrace The Apprentice rather than come off and be sulky and say it was all in the edit and you were made to look bad. I don't think I don't think anybody at home has got any sympathy for that kind of complaining. Well, it's why I like to do live television because they can't edit it. Um, <laughs> uh, Kevin, briefly, uh, what do you think about Alan Sugar? Is it time for him to move on? Could anyone else do that job? I think that without uh, Lord Sugar, not Sir Alan, Lord. These sorry, days. never forget that. Alan so never forget times. that he's very keen okay, on his right. titles. Sorry, sorry. Uh, Lord, without Lord Sugar, he is synonymous with the program. I don't think it would. Uh, be able to carry on uh, and I would say that Katie and Louisa when when he pours scorn on them These are the people who understand what the show is about. It's not about business acumen It's about getting famous and ca and cashing in on that and these are the clever people and and sugar doesn't like that Because you don't really mean everything you say Katie do you we know that I do, do you? I do although I've just been paid a compliment okay. By you well, which is surprising. Well, well look, let's let love break out in the room. We'll end it there <laughs> while, we're, while we're on a high. Thank you both very much indeed. Thank Lovely you. to see you